Thank you, Shalini. Uh, one of our former PhD students uh, for introducing me. Very kind of you to give you a, give a comprehensive introduction. And let me first thank um, the SLACE uh, the committee uh, comprising Dr. Nimshi Fernando, a very able uh, leadership, and Dr. Dan Pilashana and Dr. Dhanushika Manukunga and uh, other SLACE committee members. Thank you for selecting me. And also, um, I would like to, uh, you know, mention here that uh, it's a great privilege for me to be here to address uh, one of the best schools in the country, Mandalay Bhakti School, in front of um, Mr. Tisara Samasinga from Andhra, and also the, the speaker, my uh, colleague and former student, Dr. Rachel L. J. It's a great privilege. Yeah. Thank you very much. I will try to... It's okay. I'll, I'll, I will try to use um, both languages. Um, I know Richard is going to speak in Singhala, Richard? Yeah? yeah? Okay. So, uh, and uh, I will time to time switch on, switch on, on and off uh, the languages there. Yeah. So, uh, I want to give you a clear message today. The reason that um, my introduction, um, some people think in a different way. You know, I keep uh, all my university career, uh, sports activities, all of these things. That is one reason is that you have a, a preemptive mind that I'm a senior professor, and you have an image about the professor. And, um, you know, that is, uh, we want to change that. We want to change that because I will address that on the intelligence levels also in, the, in my talk. Uh, Guy, how many minutes I have? One hour? One minutes? One hour? Okay. Um, yes. time, I don't want to exceed the time yeah, because it's time is money. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, that's, I want to be an inspirational uh, character and also I want to inspire. That's the main objective of uh, my presence here. Um, I have told them also when they invited me, I'm, um, you know, I'm, I'm taking my sabbatical leave and I'm going, I'm flying on Saturday and I have not taken any assignment this week uh, out of Colombo, but I, I, I told Danoshi and Gayan and Nimshi, all people are coming because whenever there is an impact on something, if I can make an impact where I can put my one hour on you, that I will take that even that is difficult for me. Because I know that will transform at least one or two people here. That's a great achievement for me. So um, I will try to uh, not to overlap with Ruchira. I know Ruchira will, will talk on technology and entrepreneurship because uh, because that's a, uh, the subject of his expertise. He has a very able YouTube, I mean, very good YouTube channel, uh, Science with Ruchila. I mean, all of you, I strongly recommend to look at the science in a different angle. Subscribe to his channel and have a look at his past videos. I'm sure already you have. And I will tell you, Richard, before I start, I think three scientists in front of this, in front of me. Uh, let me start with uh, Dr. Dhanushika, and he was a, a former PhD student of myself and my wife, Professor Rovini, and a, a product of University of Colombo. And then we have Dr. Ruchira Vijay Sena. He was, uh, I, I have been working with him in Slain Tech uh, nine years when I was there, 2012 to 2019. And he was directly reporting to me uh, for various projects, very successful scientists. And, uh, and the first person to promote from uh, scientist to senior scientist by passing another category, another level of promotion because of his credentials and his output of training. And he registered for the PhD with us in Columbia University and so he got his PhD also. And then the Algayam Pridarshana is another talented uh, person, worked in Slaytec for I think probably nine years or ten years. And he has also climbed from scientist to the top level, senior scientist level, 
and they all have left Slater, including me. I visited this place now, this area, after 2019, honestly. And I'm honestly, uh, that is why I don't bring a prepared talk, because my wife also told me, and you will probably guess what you have to say on the way to Sahitekya. Yeah, there are things that have changed now. When I saw coming from Pitipada Junction, turning to this side, there was a big discussion on the government, in the government, to put up flyovers and coming from highway to Slaintech, because Slaintech is there, NSBM, Technology Faculty Kalambu, Technology Faculty Javardhanapura, all these are, it's a, it's a science park and the Slaintech and all the place, I mean the Mangalaja Paksha School, it's a knowledge hub here. But I am very sad to see the road network is still not developed. That road this today also we got about 10 minutes in the road. Same scenario. When I look at the slim tank, I felt glad also. Because we have been part of that slim tank. Sri Lanka Instrument and Technology. I have visited Mahindraj Pasha School many times in the Ruchi, near Ruchi. Kipara Kalidra Mahindraj Pasha School. Many times to do talks, to have magic shows, to have tech uh, promotional activities, so many things. Slim Tech was started in 2017 with a vision to promote the applied research while strengthening the fundamental research. It can be um, research karala eva samajagat karana Kramayat Nathimun Nath. Vishesham Nath Akshani. Nath Akshani Bhavadim, over the 21st century technology that we are talking about, it will be sequenced as a seva se, Takshani Akhani Pratagarani, Ekin Tiyana Dharma, Ekin Samajagat Karala, Ekin Rathe Aarati Keta Karana Pura Nuku, Dhatma Ekka Tamay, Slaite Patam Rathe. Mokad Hamadana Timuna Dosha Ropani Ath Tamay, Abhe Vidyatni Ath Tamay, Because 
ఏం మొడలేక హరియాన్ని అత్తి ఏ మొడలేక హరియాన్ని అత్తి అభయ విశ్వవిద్యాల అభయాత్రి దూరమే నే మొడలేక ఏకం సాధన ఇండియన్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ సైన్స్ సైన్స్ ఇండియన్ టెక్నాలజీ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఐఐటి బాంబే ఐఐటి మెడ్రాస్ ఐఐటి పూణే ఆల్ దీస్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్స్ ఆర్ డెవలప్ ఫిఫ్టీ ఇయర్స్ బ్యాక్ they still uh, an indian institute of science top institutes they started the own phd programs they inspired the indians to join that program and after that when they get the doctorate they send it outside for another additional training one year or two then they come back to the country that's the vision that they had all of these that vision the government put the money not the private sector the private companies do not do that because they are some most of the companies in sri lanka buying and selling companies they don't have bandwidth to invest on uh, when the return of investment is 25 years they may want to invest again apne dana aayojane pratipala avrudu bisi pahagata yana kauroka invest karanne ekkama than invest karanne pula aantu vitarai evadu invest karanne pula eka sentha ke patana no ve vishayam ka aao అంటే ఏ కోయితి అని హెల్మ రుచిత ఏ హెల్మ కోయితి అని బికాస్ ద పీపుల్ వర్ ఇంట్రెస్టెడ్ ఇన్ ప్రొడక్ట్ డెవలప్మెంట్ ఓన్లీ ఇన్ దిస్ కంట్రీ ఐ యామ్ అన్ స్ట్రాంగ్ అడ్వకేట్ ఆన్ ఫండమెంటల్ సైన్స్ మూలిక సిద్ధాంత దన్నదు ప్రొడక్ట్ హదన బే ఈ హదన ప్రొడక్ట్ ఇతని ఇవరై ఒక ఉదాహరణ ఎక్కాను కొన్ని విశ్వవిద్యాలయ విద్యాపీఠే ప్రొడక్ట్ తయారు కొనచ్చుకర అవరు హతకడ తెలిసేయ ఒక బాత్రూమ్ క్లీనర్ బయో క్లీన్ రూపాయల కంపెనీ కట్టు ఐ కో దీస్ ఆర్ బకెట్ కెమిస్ట్రీ అవి బాధ్యత కదా కలపాలు అభిప్రాయం ప్రొడక్ట్ డెవలప్మెంట్ కరం కూడా but if you may objective is that product development with the bucket chemistry you will not develop the science but now the it's a chicken no i pick the red kukula trust me product develop karna the fundamental science karna fundamental science karna private sector ke sali denne product develop karna sali you not it అవి ఇవాగే ప్రొడక్ట్ డెవలప్ కూడా ఆలోచన అవి బ్రాండ్ డిక్స్ లాట మా ఎంఏ సోల్డింగ్స్ ఇవాగే ప్రొడక్ట్ సమారే వాప డెవలప్ కూడా సైన్స్ ఎక్క ఫర్ దట్ వీ నీడ్ ఎన్ ద బ్యాండ్ మీ అప్పుడు ఎక్కడ సాల్వ్ చేయొరు అప్పుడు దాని ఎంఏ యాక్టివ్ ప్రొజెక్ట్ ఎక్క లాట్ ఆఫ్ సైన్స్ వెంట్ ఆన్ టు దట్ అండ్ దెన్ వి ప్యాటర్న్డ్ వి సాల్వ్ ద ప్యాటర్న్ దట్స్ అ రియల్ సైన్స్ ప్రొజెక్ట్ ఫండమెంటల్ టు గోయింగ్ త్రూ ద ఇన్నోవేషన్ డెత్ వ్యాలీ అండ్ దెన్ కమర్షియలైజేషన్ that's a fruit but there are some low hanging fruits for us ar pale nilen parthuti takara adagamlo eva thana mamme ken bahat ke bisitila eva karan pulo eva garaj ke karan pulo eva eva but that will not put the science in the forefront the fundamental science that's what the indian did when this model was studied during jr jr time president time and in ponna peru he wanted to have a iit in sri lanka indian indian institute of technology type pega tapi lanka ga dam onuna dam mai ga poka dam ni instead of fundamental studies in peradini instead of fundamental studies then we are in the name of that ifs which is under ministry of science and technology then ifs ko ga i need to see a product here why able and no pressure like fundamental science karane pa then output the output is not research papers output is products yes product only but if you kill the fundamental science that's a dead end for the science in this country so you have to strike a balance between these two if the country wants to develop in science and technology in the future that is what exactly happened to sri lanka now 
You can see Slintech now. When we were there, Slintech was a flourishing place. We published about 10 to 50 to 20 papers. One or two patterns come. None will commercialize in a year. At the Galaga, we are talking commercialism. Commercialism is bad in him. Productive. In him, they are bad. Korea took 40 years to come to this level. If you look at the GDP per capita, Eka Pukala Adayan, Korea. Lanka already is Dupa Degan Sandagaramu. Singapore, Lanka already is Dupa Degan Sandagaramu. Mukaduna. Korea changed by only 40 scientists. The whole Korea changed by 40 scientists. Scientists are happy to change Korea. Last 40 years. Because of vision. Vision for science and technology. Government put money on science and technology. When the government put money on the, the science and technology and believe in the proper scientist, you will see the growth slowly. Not a rapid, not a exponential growth. Exponential growth is very slow with a low gradient. It will take a long time. I would say this is a 25 year goal. Then the government can do away with their investment and the private sector will take over after that. That's the Korean model. So when you look at Srin Tech now, I am very much owed to Srin Tech because I gain everything from Srin Tech. But when you look at the place now, most of the scientists, 90% of the scientists left and now they are in a, in a bad situation because of the vision is very important. So, you all are sitting here, cream, after passing O level, grade 5 scholarship, then O level, now you are in A level. These are all A level, right? All A level. After that, you sit the A level exam and then you come to the university, either engineering faculty or the medical faculty or the faculty of science. That should be determined by your ambition, your liking, what you have in your agenda, what do you want to be doing in five years, what do you want to be doing in ten years, that is the vision that you must be driving. I never wanted to go to the engineering faculty. I wanted to do chemistry from a level. I was not selected anyway because I, I even I selected, I was not going to go to the engineering faculty because my passion was chemistry. So Ruchira went to the engineering faculty, but now he became a, the, the, he's a target engineer, but he's a now scientist engineer. Because we do a lot of science. The engineering is application side. This is how the Sri Lanka defines engineering and medicine. The medicine that we talk about, a doctor or a consultant who treats patients. Engineer, is a civil engineer or mechanical engineer, who does that part as a chartered engineer, construction or development or But the research type medical doctors, research type engineers, that concept is lacking in this country. That is why in abroad, before you do engineering or medicine, even in Cambridge, you have to do a science part first. That is why biomedical engineering, biomedical scientists are developed in science. I addressed this Ruchira last year when I was invited as the chief guest of the College of Physicians, big forum. We have a lot of work. Dr. Danushika has done a lot of work on anti-cancer drug de development. After that, we stop everything after publication. Maximum. It doesn't go into the clinical trials. Or because we don't find that kind of uh, doctors to go into that level or that kind of policies in this country to bring that research into the next level. So we can blame Dr. Dhanushika and myself and Professor Ovedi, you have developed the anti-cancer drug, which you publish and after that what happened? Who cares about it? We can't play a role after that. That comes with the vision. What you want to be doing? What the country wants to be doing? Everyone should have a vision. So the vision is that we say when your personality, career development, 
This is Kari oriented workshop. The vision is very important. What do you want to be doing? Ruchi always tell that my all my talks and well, Ruchi always tell me why don't you start a YouTube channel? But that is, I think that is not mine. <laughs> I can give nice talks and everything, but like Ruchi dedicates every week recording a video and uploading and following up comments and responding to that, which is difficult for me. So uh, that is why I'm not delaying this channel, you know, because it's, if you start, you have to keep on growing it, otherwise it's not... Uh, anyway, th th those are the, 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 the... What is the contribution that you can do to the society? That's the vision. So you will come to that um, uh, university, whichever you want to do. Don't drive based on your parental push. That's very important. Parents are there to guide you. I'll take my son as an example. He passed A level, top level he passed. He's now in US. But he never wanted to do engineering with children. He did physics major in US. Then now he's doing PhD in aerospace engineering. See the engineers in US are more recognized when they have the physics background. Because I'm sure which will like the science and physics and all this here. The most important subjects on this planet are the science, physics, those are not chemistry, right? <laughs> Before chemistry, there are a lot of things which are which are very important. So that is the that's uh, the nature. So the parents are there, the my daughter, if you look at Danushi and Ruchi, they know my daughter, and she is more towards dancing, aesthetics, but science she likes, but bioscience she likes. We have given her the directions, but she is the one who is going to decide what is her future. Not us, parents. Parents will show the directions. But if I tell my daughter or son to do this, do this, do science, become an engineer, become a doctor, you may hate. I have come across in this 25 years, 30 years career, Lot of medical faculty students come and tell us, Sir, come on the science or the ending. Sir, but the scientist can be known, make a bad event. One student I advised that time, you do a chemistry degree, he loves chemistry but in the medical faculty. Do another chemistry degree and use that to go to PhD. She is you now in US, use not the MBBS, the other degree to go to the go to USA. So what is in you? I thought at the end of the day, I'm not going to get If you want to become successful, otherwise you can be a normal person. You will go in the right way. You can be a doctor, you can be an engineer, but you will not do any impact because at some point you realize that this is not my passion. Make a name passion. The moment you lose your passion, your productivity drops. The same thing with relationships. You have a girlfriend or a boyfriend, I don't know. Right? If you lose the passion, it's finished. Now if you look at the cream here, when you come to the university, and then engineering or anything, engineering also they take various levels, electronics, maybe high Top people they will select like that. There are categories like in science faculty we have chemistry special, uh, zoology special. They are also you. Then ultimately you filter, filter and filter and come. Look at the percentage. I don't have statistics. Very small percentage then it come. Then I saw recently somebody was analyzing that um, you put into the IQ bell curve. Rujiga, Rujiga. I can be a manager. It can be everywhere, right? So the education, qualification will not entirely define where you are in the IQ curve. Do you agree with me, Rujana? Yes. Because recently we had a talk, I will not mention the, uh, the name. The bell curve IQ last are the, 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 the genius people are there, the high IQ people. That's a, that, because that's a, that is the average IQ. 
there is a highest IQ level, the lowest IQ level there. If you come to the university, that you are the cream undergone through this education system, through our education process, following examination procedures. Right? That does not mean that you are in the IQ, the bell curve, you are in the bell curve. If you are in the bell curve, you are in the bell curve. If you are in the bell curve, you are in the bell curve. Total IQ bell curve is in the bell curve, you are in the bell curve. Right? Because of our education system. Because when I was at Stain Tech, I met the, that year, about six years back, the best person in, in, uh, in Erevan. I, I had a chat with him. He said he has done 30 years of past papers three times. So no wonder he will become the number one in, the, in Sri Lanka. Right? I don't know the school. I can't remember the school now. Right? But I, 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 I told him, I, I, after he went, I, I told his teacher, I will never hire him to my research group. Yeah. Because we don't want people to, uh, we don't want people, we don't want to train people to reproduce things. You know, we want people to be innovative. No, the innovation is very important. I'm not going to touch much of these things, I'm sure, because I will uh, step onto your area, then you will have less things to talk. Yeah. So the innovation you will talk about. So, so you are in some way in the bell curve, right? Most people will be, say, to make us very happy, okay, you are in the right side of the bell curve, of um, IQ curve, right? But there is more than that for your life. That is based on your mathematical intelligence you get. I'll take a few examples from our recent history, recent past. Last two years, I will take last two years, last three years, after 2019 I will take. I am not afraid to take these examples. The intellectuals that you call in this country, messed up the country, I will tell few names also. I am not scared to tell those names. The reason is, I have a PhD, yes, I have a PhD in chemistry. Then I have a lot of experience in material science. Luchara is a material scientist. Gayan is a material scientist. To take uh, Danushi. Can I advise on um, something else? Like, you know, can I become an advisor to, say, child health? A minister approached me and asked, I want to hire you as a consultant to my ministry. Oh, nice chance to become a consultant. So you become a consultant. And you re, you go to YouTube and you make a video take a balala, take a video take a balala, and like you. So those are the things that I want to address here also. There's another factor for everything. Apart from your mathematical intelligence where you pass your, all your exams, there is something which is go beyond that. That is your common sense. That's very important. Common sense is very important. Common sense comes from the other intelligence levels. I will tell you a few examples. Why the, without common sense? There are a lot of scientists. There are a lot of Nobel laureates, Ruchira. They have done some predictions after Nobel Prize, which were wrong. I don't have those lists. If you look at the, that's a good point that you can do a video on that. Because there are about 10 uh, scientists, top notch scientists, Nobel laureates, they have predicted something which is against the common sense, which is beyond their limits, and proven with science, those are wrong after that. That list is available. I'm bringing this place, Ruchira, this is the reason is that as scientists, if you tell something nonsensical, without your common sense, you can be wrong over the time, it can be proven you are wrong. This is what, this is what happened to Dr. Padini. He is one of the top neurosurgeons in the country, pediatric neurosurgeon in the country. 
what what he did. He advised him to Mr. Gotabe Rajapaksha on agriculture, the organic agriculture. You know the repercussions what has happened. Our own Vice Chancellor, Prof. W. D. Lakshman, did, did not believe printing money will not add inflation. You know what has happened. Dr. Prof. Channa Jayasumana, one of the top scientists, has a high H index, high publication rate. But went behind with Amika Penny and COVID situation ruined. Wrong advices. Those are the three things that I see in the last two years we had a problem. Because all three are intellectuals. But no common sense. Proven with the time. So you need to be very careful if you are a scientist. You become a scientist. Don't touch on areas where you have no expertise. It's very difficult. So how do you get this common sense? The mathematical intelligence, you get it. You don't have to work on it because you passed grade 5 scholarship, then uh, O-level, now A-level, and all of the school will be proud about you. We have produced this much of it. But you can see the top intellectuals messed up the country with wrong advices. So the trust on the intellectuals have gone down in this country now. They don't trust on Dr. Professor Nalini De Silva. I'm anyway in trouble because of that is a, another Professor Nalini De Silva. Who talks some ideology which are not real ideologies. But I have branded myself as a different Nalini, body Nalini, right? It's okay, <laughs> right? Uh, so, the, so the, for, for us also, now the general public has no trust on scientists, Roger. No trust on professors. Because they are the people who ruin this country. With wrong advisors to ministers and the presidents and the prime ministers. And on the other hand, the leadership is not capable of Identify whether this is a correct advice or wrong advice. That's a problem. Now, if you are a Cinec campus uh, and with a great experience, you are a consultant to Cinec. Imagine you give a wrong advice. What will happen to the Cinec? When you give advice and the Cinec boss has to be more knowledgeable than you to grasp that and say, okay, what this says is the best thing, we must do it. But if it is not, okay, it's not going to work, we will scrap it again. Whatever he recommends, Sinek doesn't have to do it as a consultant. So that's a nature. So it's a, it's a two-way process, the consultants and the leadership. It's very important. So the leaders must have few people to get advice. Yes, I also as a as a science team lead, I have few people. When I get advices from uh, Ruchi, as my 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 uh, scientist, the Roshi, you take Gaya, everyone, because it's a uh, advice, it can be from the bottom up or the top down, it can be from anywhere. If it, it, it makes sense, get it. So that is where the country went wrong. So the scientist also now, there is no, no, uh, we talk about the moon mission on India and no one is interested in science because. <laughs> Then they call in Facebook they compare Nilum Kunami and the CIA, Matale about a million, two CIA dollar million, Hamata and India dollar million at the buy, but a hundred dollar packet I want to give my thing and lies karma. Aim karma bay. Aim karma bay. You will have to know one half is with the transformation. Now you can see, yesterday you saw the, the, the mission to sun. The general public were watching. Which is a very exciting thing. You know, you know, Samajarata Karam, me and me then. Dukpatra Tak Tindi Avakyan. Billion and a half of the Janata Avin, Aartika Daritra Avin, Peritra Tindrata, Evan Hantaria. Then, Ire, see a cut to the end of the plan Karamina, then maybe mission like Mazatra Tisse, Ia Viva, Aditya mission like. Then, general public balangin. Then come the motivation. 
अपने कहना नहीं है तब ये हाय हम बताएँ ना ये कतमाई जाति के तमाम होनी अब इतने का नहीं अब ये कतमाई बैठी लगी है नेता नहीं आना अब इतना ही करना है वो उससे हमने बोला ये कतमाई देखी थी अब ये अब ये ब्लेम करना अब ये दोषारोप नहीं करना निदा सत्य अब नहीं करना कि ना राठवाल बढ़े आना मन काट वाला दोषारोप नहीं करना राठे इन्ह वाले जाने एक तीर नहीं मिले तमांगे तीर नहीं आता इट्स अ पर्सनल चॉइस एक्सटर्नल फैक्टर्स विल इन्फ्लुएंस बट इट्स अ पर्सनल चॉइस हाँ अभी क्यों मुझे दोस्त तरह के ने क्या नाम है मैं पिटर डे आया हूँ हम वो पढ़ना नहीं दस अध्याय पढ़ने के लिए क्या नाम है मार्केट तार के दिन अनित्य को लंबा तेज दूर ना है नहीं क्या करते ना तो कुलगाह ना मानो सिर्फ उड़ा तीन दस अध्याय पढ़ने दूर ना है आम ले दोस्तर मार्केट या और दाह पाला तीसे काकोला बेस वातरो बेस में दाग ना
who want to drive something, drive some vision, you have to, you have only one seventh of the qualification at the moment. One seventh. Just around 10 to 15 percent, 15 percent probably yeah, you have that knowledge. So you need other skills as well. Right? The first one is the interpersonal intelligence. You need to master interpersonal intelligence. You have to be a, you know, team player. You know, you have to be with people, understand people, read their minds, respond to that uh, occasions. And that skill comes with the society, mingling in the society. Not as a bookworm where you, your triangle food would be the school, library, home, tuition class, or the maybe a, a different um, um, dimension, right? If you are only in these corners, you will not be a very successful person, right? So the interpersonal skills are very important. Be with people, work with people, and you know, fight with people, understand their emotions. How do you respond to others' emotions? You know, you can be a moody person, then uh, whether you react to on that. All these comes with your interpersonal intelligence. It's very important. Then the next one is the intrapersonal intelligence. Intra, we call intermolecular forces, intramolecular forces. Intra means how do you manage yourself? How do you respond to a situation? If you fail exams, what is your response? How do you respond to that? How do you manage your emotions? How do you, how do you manage your personality where you don't take any decisions based on your emotions? When you are angry, you react differently. When you are happy, you react differently. Which will be biased on your emotions at that time. How do you postpone your decision till you calm down your emotions? That's very important. When we get angry, we, we take the decision quickly. For some days, we see that. We see it in the society. Sri Lanka has 50% divorce rate now. Because of the poor emotional intelligence. There is not, no relationship without fights. If it is that, that is only in heaven probably. I don't know. Human beings fight. Two different people get together and then uh, live maybe five, ten years, you get, you start problems. You start fight. But nowadays, even within one year, they, 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 they sort out the problem. Right? I can't live with this person. <laughs> finish. File the divorce case, finish. That. Because they think grass is green elsewhere. Grass is green everywhere. It's not greener and other something. People who go, go abroad, they think the New Zealand grass is greener. When you go there, you will see that one. So don't take decisions based on emotions. We are Buddhist. The Buddha has told us this one, 2,500 years ago. Life is a set of problems. You solve that problem throughout your life. The moment you get out of that, you will achieve the some level of intelligence. Till that you solve that problem. What I see is the, the problem set in Sri Lanka is different to the problem set in New Zealand or US or UK. Yet you solve the problem set. They can say that they have problems to give a right to the target. Problems to give a right to the target. They can say that they have problems to give a right to the target. They can say that they have problems to give a right to the target. But if you understand that, okay, there is a, there are problems we will encounter the emotion. You know, we are not taking emotional decision. This is based on our true analysis. That's what we need. When a couple fights, okay, we fight. Finish, after that we write off everything and we will start the life again. 
But if you think I'm, my wife is always fighting with me, I have to find a new, new, new wife. <laughs> okay, you divorce, you find a new wife. The relationship will be cozy and rosy for three years. And then there's another one. Now, yet they are in here. And we're going to get rid of that also, right? Okay. So you can keep on doing it. Because you don't understand the real nature of life. If you understand that, you will see your friends fight. So you get on with the game. That's true. That will adorn to your life also. Don't judge the book by its cover. Everyone has a problem, different set of problems we all solve. Right? So as kids, don't think that our problems are now all solved. No. It is a problem. 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 It is because these are all temporary things. We are all here for 60 years, 70 years, 80 years, 90 years. That's the maximum period that you have. Compared to the 4 billion years of the universe lifetime, this is nothing. Recently I saw a photograph. A Milky Way with the Earth, Milky Way without the Earth. You know, Abhi Earth te kathiru, Abhi Earth pekke na, pekke na. Who cares about us? You do universe care about me? No. So you start fighting each other to get what? You do the maximum you can do to the society and get away, get, get out of this planet. the universe life, the universe size of the universe and we are just a, even a smaller than a sand grain. That will come from the emotional intelligence that you can master. Follow some Dhamma if you are a Buddhist and understand the impermanency of life. Everything is going to be changed. Understand the second law of thermodynamics. Everything moves for a disorder. If you want to make it order, you have to supply energy. Nothing will come become spontaneously ordered. It's against the second law of thermodynamics. So you need to have, always need to work on it. Always you have to put your energy if you want to be your life to become more successful. That's very important. So that's the emotional intelligence. That will come from Dhamma. I always tell any religion, you have to be religious. Any religion. The problem with major, the major problem with the Buddhist, the Catholics go to church on Sunday. The Islam, people go to a, a mosque on Friday. Now Saturday I'm going to Oman. I'm very proud to say I'm going for a one of the best countries in the world, discipline-wise. The children are playing at night, 11 o'clock at night. No one touches anyone. Girls, boys, nothing. Girls are highly uh, treated in Oman. Very highly rated. I mean, the defense has a greater place in Oman. I have a major general uh, a friend there. I can't remember his name. He's in Oman, Muscat. Because the, the Oman was transformed in 1970s with the help of our former IGP. So the, our military, they have the military academy there. A lot of our people work there. The discipline, top discipline. You can have alcohol at home, but not outside. It's a liberal country. The University Sultan Karbis University, 50% girls. You, can, you can't even think of a Muslim country with 50% of girls in the university. Some professors tell me that Nalin, you know, these girls, they get the degree and what they get married to a rich person and they, they have children and they stay at home. They don't use that degree. But Sultan had a vision. Educate the women. 
because educating women will be the investment for a country because they are going to be mothers they are going to be the mothers of this nation the children will stay more with the the mother if mother is educated children will be educated that's the vision so everyone says they they get educated and they stay at home but they will drive their kids to get educated so it's very important that uh, you know the intelligence levels you know to to uh, that that those those things will act, that that's a leadership that's a leadership sultan kabus ousted his father in 1970s and he grabbed the the country and he developed exponentially that country i'm more than happy to go there and serve for the university in sultan kabus university i'm going to be a visiting professor there but they treat us very well you know that's how they treat the intellectuals but i'll be coming back right i'm not going permanently um so the emotional intelligence is very important that's that's where you will have a big impact on your life then the other intelligence are quickly i will tell that the musical intelligence it's very important musical intelligence if you can play a instrument it's nice if you can't play it's okay at least you can sing a song with people and you remember lyrics of songs and that's fine and then the sports intelligence always people tell you know, all of you don't have to do sports right but you appreciate sports and you look at sports and you understand the, the spirit of sports when sports what i gain mainly is losing losing is a part of puzzle of our life you know i have lost to peradenia one year and the same person next year i had beat in in the final match next year that year i was worried yeah, but that's that's life so that also you, it gives you a flavor of life so losing learn to lose if you learn to lose you will never be regret any you fail at all imagine you fail at all what is option not like our time our time we had late 80s less options we had very much less we didn't have private institutions we don't have other courses maximum i remember to the city and gills exam only that after a level i want to register for city and gills because i was not sure what will happen there level but now look at the sky is the limit if you can't get into the university there are private universities there's a senior campus is there and the nsbm is there a lot of people i mean globally it doesn't matter where you get it from it matters mostly your talents this is what we are changing now earlier we thought we have to ship everyone to do a phd in abroad that is why people go there but we changed we have created slintech we have created the collab with the center of advanced materials and devices technology faculties like this javardhanpur or kalambu and develop their scientists develop their phd own program like the iit bombay iit madras in the institute of science we developed our own program these are our products kalambu university products javardhanpur university products here most of them are because if we try to import always the brain from there it's difficult we have to have our own methods so like that you know we it's, it's very important that uh, you have a, a broad vision on education so the sports intelligence it's very important mathematical intelligence i put it last because everyone has a mathematical intelligence. and also the linguistic intelligence you have to be a great communicator whatever you say the others should understand it so basically we say um, at least learn couple of languages if you want to be we are south we should be ashamed on ourselves i can speak only single and english but i can't speak tamil but if you go to north 
They can speak three languages. Right? But if you can learn another language, Spanish, Chinese, Japanese, or whatever, no, it's, it's an advantage for you. So the linguistics is very important. Linguistics, linguistics, we are very late because the, you usually say, I had a friend in Cambridge, which is a Satya name, Indian guy. He is from India, he can speak about 15 languages. He has lived in everywhere. His daughter, about four years to five years, that age, she was about eight languages she knew. Because they have taught everything. Because that's the age you can learn languages, before 10. After 10, difficult. Yeah. For me now, it's difficult. Because I know that, that without that language, I can survive. The moment you come to the comfort zone, you don't go out of the comfort zone to learn it. So those are the intelligences. When you have those intelligences, you will develop the common sense that is very important than your mathematical intelligence. Because in the future, which will we talk about the artificial intelligence, I will not touch on that. The, the four technologies that will shape up the planet, nanotechnology, biotechnology, artificial intelligence, robotics, and the IOTs. Those are the five things that will shape up the planet in the future. Most of you, final message, most of you will be unemployed in the future. Unless you are really, really good. Right? Because the AI, which we will talk about that, will take up a lot of things. Right? You saw 50 years back, the building site had about 1,000 people working. After that, it went down to about 100, 200 because of the, the earth moving machines, the machinery, and so on. Now, the day is the AI has come. Now, a lot of jobs are going to be there. The MBBS, Vishayan Monkey, no, me, me. Why do you think you're going to get it? It's not going to get top consultants. You know, every person is going to get it. You know, every profession, every profession, there is a problem. There is a disruption in the society time to time. The mobile phone took over how many businesses? Alarm clock video recorder, uh, all these things were separately in uh, our, our small age. When I'm a alarm clock, when I'm a radio, when I'm a cassette, when I'm a video recorder, when I'm a camera, when I'm a camera, when I'm a video recorder, when I'm a camera, 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 when i am a Rich crowd there. Now this watch also we do, we, we, we wear it as a fashion, not to look at the time. Time is always making the man as a time of the For those who in fashion again. Video cameras all, unless it's a professional person, they were all gone. So these are the disruption to the society, disruptive technologies. When the disruptive technology comes, all others will be redundant in this society. So that is my final message. You will be very careful. In no time, most of us will be useless. The technology will take it over. Right? But there are a set of people will be required to operate the technology and develop the technology. Those people will be other people who will. Uh, the US changed by few people. Few people change the US. The whole planet will be changed by few people. So make sure that you will be a, a person who can make an impact to the society, who can make a change. There are three kinds of people. First, five, the people who are good at watching things. Second, people who make things happen. Third category, people who wonder what has happened. So I invite you to be in the second category, people who make things happen. I would like to thank uh, Slays, Nimshi, Danushi, uh, Gayan, and all others for inviting me. And thank you again, Nantisara, Ruchira. And I have to leave early, and I will not be able to listen to your talks. And thank you again. Thank you all the kids and the school, all teachers for coming here and uh, listening to my talk. Thank you very much. Yeah, all the best. Thank you, Professor Nalin D. Silva, for your thought-provoking and inspiring talk. I would now like to call Dr. Gayan Priyadarshan to present the token of appreciation to Professor K. Nalin D. Silva.